Mark, congratulations! Three goals, three points, a clean sheet. You can't ask for much more as a manager. No, I can't. It was, you know, it, it was the manner of it, really. You know, we talked before the game. I, I said to the guys, listen, before an international break, I'll take any win, any way it comes. But, you know, standing, you know, full of pride for the way that the, the lads have approached the game. You know, keep saying there's two sides of the game when we've got the ball and when the opposition have got it. And I thought we married those two sides really well today, and thoroughly deserved the win. And but, you know, again. It's the manner of the win, the way we, we went about it, which is the most pleasing. I was going to ask you what the most pleasing aspect of the performance was, and I, I guess you've answered it already. Really, the kind of the way the boys stood up in, in every aspect of it. Every one of them, you know, I, I, you know, going through the team in my own mind now as individuals, and every one of them, the, the job that we, myself, Eddie Nisvesky, John O'Shea, the jobs we asked them to do, they took on board. And sometimes, you know, when you're giving players, I've said this before, a lot of. You know, in my enthusiasm, giving the players perhaps too much information at the time, and you wonder how much they take on board and whether they're going to play that in the game, and, and they certainly did today. And all manner of good performances. You know, I'll, I'll single out one, especially Omar Richards coming to the side. He's been disappointed, obviously, he's fighting for that place with Jordan will be there. We've got healthy competition there. But for a young player to come in, and have, well, well, certainly since, since I've been looking at him in the first team, his best performance by a mile, and he's, he's, he's a real bright, uh, he's going to be a right. Great player for the future for us as well. I think as well that Luton had that period as well, like when we were two 0 up, in the sort of second half, and they were putting on that pressure. And again, like you know, against one of the top scoring teams in the division, our boys really stood up to that challenge. Yeah, as well. It's always going to happen. You're, you're never going to be able to dominate a game for 90 minutes full stop, you know. And I guess maybe if we took one or two more chances in the first half, we could have been three or four up, and then you know, forgive me for thinking the game's finished at half time. So we know we're going to come into that pressure, and we had 20 minutes of it uh, before Gareth got his goal. But again, I always felt on the side quite comfortable, quite solid. I don't think Rafa had too much to do in goal. We had to be patient at times, you know what I mean, and just cover our areas and keep the shape of the team right, which is what we did. So, yeah, I'd do like that. Yeah, a couple of good goals in different circumstances in the first half, and that one from Gareth too. Really nice moment for him as well, coming back into the team, and he's looked like a really, like he could have a really good season for us, really. Well, he looks, he looks sharp, he looks hungry, he looks like he's got a point to prove. You know, getting on the pitch and then taking the goal the way he did, but I keep saying it's not. It's not for me. I'm delighted for him today. It's not about what he does on the Saturday. He's earned the right to be in there for the work that he does every single day in training. He comes in, top professional, works hard. He's not a, not a minute of any training session where you almost got a GM on. He's, he's there playing at the top of his ability, and uh, to get moments and, and days like this, I'm delighted for him, and he'll come on again for this. And last time we just pick on Omar Richards one more time, as you said, fantastic. He's taken over the champagne today, and, yeah. and rightly so, because he's, um, yeah, as you say, he's got that competition, but it looks like he was really enjoying himself today. Yeah, both sides of the game. We know Omar is, is always going to be good going forward and delivering crosses, but I thought defensively today, times when he was maybe, you know, looked as if he was going to be second best going into the challenge, he'd come out with a ball, even when he lost challenges, his recovery runs. And that's that's a shining, shining light and, and, and for the rest of the team. They see that from a young player coming in, they want to do it as well. So, you know, I'm thankful for having him in that form on a day like today. Lastly as well, international break now, so a couple of weeks before the next game before we go to Brentford, so a chance to work with some of the players, not all of them, a few of them will be going away with their countries, but um, keep keeping those messages going and keeping that feel-good feeling for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, Rich, we'll rest, deservedly so, we'll take stock of things, we'll work the players when they've had their rest to are back here, and then I'll keep my fingers crossed that the ones that have gone away come back safe. Thanks for your time.